Shader Corral, and I'm a graduate researcher at the University of Kansas. I study plant microbes. Now I know all of you have seen a plant before, and some of you might even know about the different plant parts. For example, we have the leaves, the stem or the trunk, and the roots. But did you know that every single plant has tiny helpers that live inside or on it that you cannot see with your eyes? These tiny microscopic helpers are called microbes, and they are bacteria and fungi. They can be found almost everywhere. But the microbes that I study are found inside or on the roots of a plant or in the soil where the plant grows. When these microbes live and work together, they are called a microbial community. Now, we know a lot about how a plant works. For example, we know that the leaves absorb sunlight, we know that the stem or the trunk hold the plant upright, and we know that the roots absorb water. But you might be wondering, what do the microbes of a plant do? That's exactly what I'm trying to find out. All of these plants that you see here are called eastern gammagrass, and they're actually related to the corn that you eat on the cob. These eastern gammagrass plants were collected from across the United States. Now, we all know that plants need water in order to survive. However, these plants are really good at surviving in drought or when there isn't a lot of water available to them. And it's my job to figure out why that is. I think that the little microbial helpers found in the soil and in the roots of eastern gammagrass plants are what help them to survive the drought. It's also my job to figure out what types of microbes are found in the soil and in the roots of eastern gammagrass. And once I figure that out, I will be able to set up experiments to see exactly what it is that makes these microbes able to help the plant survive drought. Now we're back from the greenhouse, in the lab. This right here is a root sample of an eastern gammagrass plant, the same plant that I showed you in the greenhouse. Now, I'm curious, I wanna know what type of fungi is found in this root. But before I can put it under the microscope, I have to use some chemicals in order to soften and clear the root tissue. After that, I'm going to use this blue dye that will only stain the fungi found inside of the root. Then, I will put the root on this microscope slide and then put it under the microscope. Over here, you can see some plant roots that have been cleared. There doesn't seem to be any fungi there. But on this side, you can see that the fungus has been dyed blue and it's wrapping itself around the root cells. Isn't that cool? I hope you learned something today. And next time you see a plant, don't forget about the little helpers that keep it healthy. Mm -hmm.